Hey guys, it's your pal Victor here, and we just got back from Michael's, and Halloween blew up all over that place. Check out the video right now. So hey guys, we're at Michael's, and they have full-blown Halloween stuff already. Tons of garlands here and here's bows for making wreaths here are like uh, more wreath makings lots of beetle juicy flavored stuff here's some voodoo dolls this uh, glitter orange one is new I like this tiny one here that one's actually cool witch feet branches candy corn more wreath stuff, hats, and they've got uh, little little pots here. Lots of beakers, so it's kind of to put some sciencey shit in here for the Frankenstein vibe. These are new, decorative and filler. Some palmistry stuff. Lots of succulents. More bottles. The Silence of the Lambs crystal thing. What you thinking about? There we go. More wreath stuff. Really full bore with the wreaths this year. Lots of beetle juicy vibes. I think that a lot of this must be repurposing of all the extra stuff they had. And here's more kind of harvest. We're gonna go to the next section in a minute. All right, so here's the full Lamax Spooky Town. So here's the Lamax Spooky Town. Beware the Crypt Keeper. There's a Sphinx thing called the Mummy Mortuary. Here's the pumpkin candy shop we saw before. Foxman, Agatha's Apothecary. Hey. Uh, here's the Toil and Trouble Ale House. And there's like a ballroom thing over there we're gonna look at in a minute. That looks cool. This is the future looks dark and the gloom room. I like this one here. This mortuary is pretty cool. And here's a windmill. I like the windmill. That's really cool. I'm telling you, this Halloween stuff hits every year. And it's very impressive. Some of the pastel goth stuff. Hanging bat is cool. I like that there's a lot of Christine McConnelly kind of stuff this year. This is pastel goth. King Crow, I like that. Very roaring 20s. This is cool actually. Got coffin shelves. Okay, this is really cool actually. Kind of up their game this year. And pastel goth and skulls are a real thing this year. I like this one too. Audrey stuff. I feel like these would be good to be repurposed if you wanted to change the art in the middle. That's cool. 
I mean, part of me thinks a lot of this might be like, oh, we saw this on Etsy, let's copy it. But... That's a really good wreath. All right, and here's the fortune teller stuff. Jeez, there is a lot of cool stuff this year. Palmistry. Yeah, dude, I'm not even gonna lie. They totally upped their game this year. This is some really cool stuff. Of stuff here I would get. That Poe right there. Dude. Yeah, they clearly went full out on the Poe stuff too. section all right so here's uh, more stuff for uh, painting we're looking for some coffins all right there's little coffins that are pre-carved Here are some huge coffins. And this is Harvest, which I'm ignoring. Here's some more paintables. Kind of like this bat. I wish it was like just a straight bat shape so I could paint something more specific that isn't the shape. But I think that's what the pumpkins will be for. The cauldron's okay, although I think it looks a little too Kool-Aid man. I think the ghost looks a little too cactus. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cute. Oh yeah, these are definitely spoopy. 